food without colour will be grey and dull. And the same could be said about our food. As consumers, we have, perhaps without really thinking about it, some clear expectations of how our food should look. Sometimes it's the food's real colour we see. Other times, the food manufacturer has added colour to make the food look as we expect it to be. However, it's not just about getting food to look right. Actually, many foods lose or change colour, either during manufacture or during storage, where the food's colour can be affected by light, air, heat and humidity. For instance, a food speciality like curry marinated herring becomes less yellow when it's exposed to light. The same will happen to strawberry jam if we didn't do anything to avoid it. So you could say that colours help preserve the food's original appearance or enhance the natural colours, such as making strawberry ice cream more red. Dyes can either be extracted from nature's own colours from, for instance, grapes, tomatoes, carrots, beetroot and spinach. <laughs> or they can be produced in a laboratory to make food cheaper for the consumer. There are the same requirements that they must be safe for you to eat, whether they are colours from nature or from a laboratory. So what is the conclusion? Do we need colours in our food? Yes. Colours help to meet the expectations we have for food and to ensure that food looks the same every time we buy it. We could do without colours, but it will be a little more grey and dull. And that's not what we want, is it? Mm -hmm.